Hi, welcome to Bar Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on five number summaries. Okay, a teacher gave 20 students a test and they earned the following scores. Create a five number summary, calculate the range, and create a box and whisker plot for the final following data. Plot. A lot of my videos, the L's are missing. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't even trust me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If this is my first video, you don't know what I'm doing. All right, the five number summary is the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, the maximum, and then the range is not part of the five number summary, but I like calculating the range. The minimum is 25, the maximum is 100. That means the range 100 minus 25 is 75. It's a huge range for this um, quiz. 75 is a lot of range there. The five number summary is breaking this data into quarters. Notice I have five numbers in each quarter of where I drew these lines. The median is the middle. Now, because there's an even number of test scores, the middle is not actually going to be a data point. To find the middle, we take 83 plus 85 and divide it in half, and we get 84. The only data points that are guaranteed in our five number summary to be actual data points is the minimum and maximum. Q1, medium, and Q3, there's no guarantee it's gonna actually be a data point. Q1 is the median of the lower half. So the lower half are these 10 digits, and the middle of that is between number five and six. So 76 plus 77 divided in half is 76.5. The quartile three is the median of the top half of the data. So it's going to be between 14 and 15. So 91 plus 92 divided in half, which is 91.5. Okay, so these, this is the five number summary. 25, 76.5, 84, 91.5, and 100. The box and whisker plot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a number line. And because this is a 75 point range, I am going to start, I'm gonna start at, I think I'm gonna start at zero and go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oops, this is not gonna work. Okay, let's make this 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That will work. Okay. This is why erasers are good. This is why we don't do math in pen. Okay. The min minimum is 25. First quartile is 76.5, just all the way up here. Median is 84, 91.5 and 100. All right, this is an outlier. Probably I should stop at 45, but I'm not going to discuss outliers right now. We're just gonna do a really long whisker. So what a box and whisker plot does, because I just wanna visualize this, 25% of our data is here, 25% of our data is here, 25% of our data is here, and 25% of our data is here. How do you figure out outliner, outliers? is um, if a whisker is more than one and a half times the width of our longest other uh, widths, it's an outlier, and this is obviously more than one and a half times that distance. Um, the reason this is so long is because of this 25, and this 45, um, but this was created for another reason. So this is our box and whisker plot. We can see the data is, these three areas have a lot of compactability. You know, these scores are all really close. These scores are all really close. These scores are all really close. These are not. 
there is more than there's a 51 point spread in those scores. But this is our box of Musket Plot. If we look at the next area, it says find the mean and mode. This is truncated questions. It says which is the best um, measure of center for the set test scores? Mean, median, or mode? We already have the median up here of 84%. To find the mean, it's the same as the average, um, you add up all 20 scores and divide by the total number of scores. So if we add up 25 plus 45 plus 71, all the way up to 100, we get 1,610. And if we divide that by the 20 scores, we get that the average is 80.5, which is, you know, right here for an average. Um, if we look at the mode, the number that appears most often, the mode is 95%, which is right here. So the mode appears in this top 25%. The average is pushed all the way down here with well over 50% of the scores above the, the, the average, the mean. And the mean is pushed skewed to the left because of these people who obviously were not prepared for the test to be given. They had not prepared sufficiently enough to take the test. The majority of students scored C or above, and then two people did not. And these two people dragged the average down. The median is an 84%. That's the middle score. We always have like the gold standard of using the mean, the average, the average on this test was an 80%. Um, but in a case like this, is 80% a good way to discuss with a class how the average was when all of these people did better than 80%? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people got an A and a good A, you know. All these people got high scores. A lot of people got high scores. So this is, I don't have an answer per se. This is just something to get you thinking about measures of central tendency, box and whisker plots, statistics, and is getting everything boiled down to one number the best way to go, or is sometimes looking at data with more information better? Something to think about. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.